Alright, let's go. Three, two, one. Hey guys, how's it going? So, I mean, I've I've put it off long enough. Usually with this kind of thing, I try to do it uh, as soon as possible after the said thing that I'm doing a video about, event, whatever. PTX Mr. July did it like the night of or the day after. Even watching the Star Wars, them with the Star Wars at AMAs, I did that like right after I did a video on it. But this one's a big one. This is my first time seeing Pentatonix in concert. It's my first real concert. Um, technically, my first concert would have been Jesse McCartney because my sister dragged me along to that. But I'm gonna count. I'm just gonna say this one's my first concert, okay? Because this is a concert to be proud of as your first concert. But it was great. So I went to the Philadelphia concert, and that was only. It wasn't bad. A bad distance at all. It was only like a little over an hour away, hour 10 minutes. And I mean, I commute to school, which is 48 eight minutes about every a day, like 48 minutes up, 48 minutes back. So it's not really that out of the range that I'm used to. But I will say that I hate driving in Philadelphia. I absolutely hate it. Just, uh, just know you have to make your turns the right area, right times. And I hate parkways with the six lanes and everything because people are freaking crazy just flying all around and just really uncomfortable driving there. I just don't like it at all. Um, I mean, I did it. I would do it again if I have to, but it's just always with the city driving and, and when you're getting closer to a city, it's just really annoying, uncomfortable for me. I don't know. <laughs> um, a minor inconvenience to see Pentatonix live. First off, I, I went by myself. Now you might remember that in uh, one of my AHA Live reactions I did with Ben, he said he might go with me, but that just didn't end up going going through. But I don't know, hopefully next time I'll have him or someone with me because I think that would enhance the experience a lot, honestly. So I don't know, you just can't get in, as into it if you're by yourself. Let's be real. Be surrounded by people you know would be... It always makes any situation more comfortable, but it's pentatonic, so I did what I had to do. Unfortunately, like a couple of the people I knew that were going there, I didn't get to meet them. Um, next time, I'm pro I'm definitely going to make a point to do so, because that's always a regret, is not <laughs> doing what you set out to do initially anyway. I will note that I did, well, first of all, I'll note that a couple of people when I first got onto, I, have a, I had general admission tickets, by the way. Which meant I stood out on the floor. Standing for three hours was kind of a, a pain also. But especially with my jacket. Because it was like a little too warm for a jacket. But I didn't want to hold my jacket. One of those stupid inconveniences that I'm complaining about. But that's one thing. I would say that's that's probably the best option. You're just sacrificing comfort to get closer. Because GA general admission tickets are generally cheaper than some of the people that are sitting like further away. Like... And the one I went to, I know they can be really crowded. Some of them I've seen, they're just packed. But the one I went to, there was still a lot of space. So even if I had come like two and a half hours into the show, I would still have a fairly better spot than most people, honestly. I'd like to get even closer because you get some great shots when you're right up close in person. I got some decent picks, but... Decent picks. <laughs> but I could have gotten better ones. And I always go into these sorts of things saying I'm going to record a lot of videos it'll be a great video opportunity but I only recorded one really and it was their performance of AHA Live I just recorded that in its entirety, in its entirety. but I was like I wasn't committed I had my phone I wasn't committed to a super stable shot the whole time because I wanted to enjoy it as well so it's not a really great video per se but I might throw it at the end here if it's too long maybe I'll post it separately if you want me to but I'm sure you've seen a lot of AHA Live, but I desperate. I really wanted to be in the misbehaving, one of the awkward snaps. <laughs> I really wanted to be in that, but I, I feel like if I was near Kirsten's side and more towards the front, I might have had a chance because I had, I had Kirsty's shirt on. I had her phone case on. I think it was like one of, I had to be one of very few people wearing that. I didn't see, I just saw all pentatonics related stuff, obviously, but 
not many cursed related stuff. So I was hoping that I'd be able to win her over with that. That's not the why I wore it, but I thought about it after I was there. I was like, okay, I might have a shot here if I, if I was near her, but I happened to be on the opposite side, and I would have been too far back probably anyway. But Okay, I'm jumping all around here. So <laughs> my whole point when I was getting into this, general admission. When I first got into there, there were two people sitting on the floor that said they recognized me, which was cool and random. They recognized me. One of them said they were subscribed. So if you were one of those people, post in the comments below and let your name be known. Here's the thing. I had I suspected that, that might happen, that I'd be recognized despite being one of the smaller uh, channels. One of the smaller channels out there. <laughs> like I'm not... YouTube celebrity by any means, but I suspected I might be recognized because obviously it's a pentatonics area That's one of the that's like the only crowd I would be recognized in and The fact that I look so distinct Not that it's necessarily a good thing That I have a distinct look but You know it's a lot of people they have you know brown hair you know regular look looking people <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying it's hard to say properly but I'm saying that curly hair and glasses very distinct look not many people have hair like this and you know it's easy to pick pick me apart to tell who I am just by oh look even you see the back of my head it's curly hair is that that dude that shows up on my suggested videos for pentatonics. Speaking of that, uh, might as well get it all the way. On the way out, there was a girl. This is hilarious to me. Kind of sad, but hilarious to me. There was a girl who came up to me and she's like, I recognize you, but I don't know your name. I'm like, Zach. She's like, oh yeah, your last name, like Archer, Archer or something? Yeah. And then I was like, oh, do you just know me from like the suggested videos? on the side because I assume a lot of people might even recognize me just because if you search up pentatonic stuff mine comes up every now and then but she said no I actually seen a couple of your videos but I really know you from that whole thing with Shay back in the day <laughs> I don't know how many of you were around back then but maybe I can only assume she was referring to when I did the parody of Shay and she might have possibly seen that or seen his response video to it or maybe the Twitter aftermath after it but that's my claim to fame I guess is that that parody from like nine months ago now kind of sad but <laughs> very funny at the same time that that's someone recognized me because and knew me because of the whole thing with Shay I didn't go into details or anything or ask any further so I don't know that's what she meant exactly but I can only assume it's so interesting I don't remember if there was anyone else that recognized me but I did see Hassan you know pentatonics face of pentatonics I saw him on on his way out I really wish we had gotten a picture or something but he seemed in a rush anyway or I wish we could have talked at least but so yeah I got uh, I got to shake his hand and say hi but that's about it he was one of the few people I knew that was going to be there. And he ended up getting the, the set list too on Twitter. You know, they post the, the set list and tag someone in it and write their name and give it to him. Yeah, <laughs> he got that. So, congrats for that. Okay, getting into the actual concert, the first opening th person or act or whatever, Abby? Is it Abby or Ari? I forget, honestly. I'm going to be completely honest. I wasn't super impressed by her. Like, some of her stuff. Her performances were decent, but I honestly didn't know who she was and wasn't really sure her name until kind of seeing her name pop up afterwards because just the audio when she was... I'm glad the audio sounded a lot better when it came to Pentatonix and us, the duo, but it just seemed like I couldn't re he uh, understand a lot of what she was saying in the beginning, at least. Like, the names of the songs and everything. I was like, what? I can't really understand, but... Uh, this, at that point, I was getting worried. It was like, oh, is Pentatonix going to be all, like, unrecogni unrecognizable, poor audio or something? But no, it was actually really good. Um, so they were decent, not amazing. 
to me. But then Us the Duo came on, and Us the Duo I only knew, believe it or not, I only knew from them being on tour with them and the couple clips I had seen of them performing If I Ever Fall in Love. And I was like, who are these people? What are they doing with my pentatonics, interfering with my pentatonics? <laughs> I didn't really even know how much presence they had on YouTube until after the fact because I loved them. They were amazing. They were a huge highlight of that whole concert for me. It was just discovering how good they were. Very Not anything like your typical artist. Like very much raw talent. She has a beautiful voice. He has a great voice, but I mean, she has an especially beautiful voice. I love her voice. And they performed really well live, surprisingly well. Like I went in with zero expectations with them because I didn't hear anything anything of them outside of if I ever fall in love there are little clips from there every now and then I'd see but yet I went and bought their most recent album and I've been listening to some of their listening slash watching some of their videos on YouTube I've been repeating a couple of their their songs that I love goodbye forever super highlight for me there are a couple other ones that I love they have some really great songs I love their whole focus on their their loving marriage that's always nice really sweet really sweet pair there i wish i get to meet i got to meet them maybe we'll go on one of their tours sometimes i know they have a tour going on in like a couple months too and they're back to philadelphia then but i don't know if i i'll be able to swing that but cool it was very really cool seeing them there they're superb superb live i can't say that enough and then it came to pentatonics of course amazing a couple things that struck me particularly by the way I'll post a picture of the set list here just so you all know all the songs are in it because there's slight changes in each one but I hadn't been keeping up with like I'll see snaps every now and then and I'll see some people posting clips on Twitter every now and then but I haven't been keeping up with like what the song general set list was lately so it was interesting to me that they did Jolene instead of If I Ever Fall In Love which I didn't mind but it's just kind of I wasn't keeping up with it I guess I don't know how long they've been doing that for probably since Jolene came out but it's interesting did I even say something that struck me okay that was I guess that was the thing that struck me but I really wanted to say that I just loved how they all actually seemed taken back by the presence I mean they said it was the great it was like the greatest crowd ever that they've ever had Philadelphia is amazing I don't know if they say that at every concert though that would be kind of annoying, but <laughs> um, they seem genuinely taken back by it. Particularly my love for Kevin and Avi as well has grown so much just from seeing them live. Avi just got, has such a genuine smile. I love that infectious smile he has. Um, he does that heart thing. Oh. <laughs> and he's just glowing, just cheesing it up. Just like, wow, wow. You know, like Avi does. You've seen some of the clips, I'm sure. And Kirsty is just glowing with beauty nonstop. Like her in PTX Miss in July, thought the same thing. Just wow, she's like larger than life, beautiful. Just, she just radiates beauty and wow. But, <laughs> so there's that. And then, but particularly Kevin. I love that man so much. His stage presence is just unlike any anything I've seen. He's he is so into it. Like they all seem very into it and appreciative, but him even more so. He's like he has a very infectious smile like Avi and he's laughing and just like just blown away by everything coming in and he just gets so into the performance. Probably my favorite to watch perform. Um even like battling Kirsten, Kirsty's beauty radiating off of her. There's Kevin's joy and amazing presence coming off of him as well. It was just really great to see. I'm I was kind of glad, even though Kirsten is my favorite. Um, I was kind of glad that I ended up on Kevin's side there because he was just great to watch all, up close and personal and everything. Um, but I was also grateful that they did switch up the arrangement. I didn't even think about the fact 
that they could switch up the arrangement pretty frequently. Enough to where we did get a fair cycle of them on our side, regardless of the classic pentatonic position. I don't know what else to say. It was a great experience. Uh, I feel like I would have been more into it, even more so if I had someone with me to like enjoy it with. That's the loner life, so. Uh, but I'm very glad I did it. My next, I have goals now. The fact that I didn't get VIP leaves me with goals. Um, one thing in PDS Mr. July I checked off was getting a picture with them, but I didn't really meet them. Like, I technically met them, but didn't really exchange any words other than hello, so there was no time, unfortunately. So I'd love to get a VIP meet and greet and everything. I think I'm going to start a PTX kind of side fund where I take a little bit from my paycheck each week so and dedicate it to like pentatonics only stuff and don't touch it otherwise unless absolutely necessary. Because, um, man, I really want... I wonder when they're going to do their next tour. I hope they get a decent break in. It seems like they've been nonstop touring the past couple of years, so if they could take a break... Focus on some YouTube stuff would be interesting, but regardless when I see tour dates come out, I'm jumping on that. If I can get VIP, if it's at all possible for me to do so. I didn't have the money this time, but if I can swing it, I'm going to swing it, and I'm going to swing it hard. Meet and greet. I really want... Okay, so, yeah, so I have a couple goals. That's the one thing about not getting the perfect, absolute best perform per experience you get right off the bat is you have goals for the future. And that's getting a closer spot. Like right on the rail, like a couple of my friends had. Right on the railing in front of them. That's a great spot. VIP, getting to meet them. Uh, get selfies with them. A little, talk a little with them. Uh, these are all goals for me now. And I just wish it wasn't in a city. Because I know cities are always where they take place. Obviously, because that's where the people are. And that's where the, the venues are. But... I wish, believe me, like a year or so ago, I was all about the city life. I'm like, I want to get into media career, and that's, New York is the media capital of the world. I gotta, I wouldn't mind living there and just living off, not having to drive, just do public transportation. <laughs> no way. No way that just faded. That was... So, I was so sure that sneeze was coming. I was prepared for it. Never been more sure of a sneeze in my life that wasn't actually going to happen. But, yeah. Not too long ago, I was like, I wouldn't mind living a city in a city. Because that's, stuff's always going on. And it would be cool. And in that respect, yeah, there's stuff always going on. But, I don't know, I'm not a fan of, like... I'm not a fan of public transportation, and I'm not a fan of driving in the cities, so people are maniacs. So I'm not as keen on the idea of living in the cities as I was before. Maybe that'll change, but I really wish to just come out to a, a little town and, and perform in, in no venue whatsoever. That would be great, but obviously not realistic. I'll have to go probably to, it'll probably be Philadelphia again, or New York, so... But also make the driving or public transportation experience better would be having a friend there with me. So that's a goal also next time. But yeah, if you were there, let me know. Let me know how your experience went. If you saw them in concert another place, let me know how your experience went. Oh, and I should mention... Uh, Daft Punk, Hallelujah were probably my two favorites they did live. They were probably the two ones that stood out the most to me. Um, Hallelujah is just always beautiful. It sounded great live. I was I was glad. I was preparing to be disappointed in comparison to how perfect the... Obviously you can't top the perfection they achieved in that video, but I'm glad they came so close. <laughs> Hearing it live is something else. Light in the hallway was cool. 
how you have to be quiet, but you can never get... There's always an obnoxious dude in the crowd. There's an obnoxious dude who kept saying... Well, not always, but he would say random stuff. Like, Kirsten, I love you! Was was the thing he decided to say. Right as light in the hallway was about to start. So, that was very, keep it classy. <laughs> very nice. But yeah, all around great stuff. It can only get better from here. I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds for them. Hopefully, many more tours to come. Many more opportunities. But we'll see. Yeah, so comment below. Anything related to the tour whatsoever. I'd love to talk about it and hear about it. So... Thank you for watching. I love you guys. I love Pentatonix. Man, do I love Pentatonix.